and we'll wait for this to switch. All right, hi everybody, we're back again today. And today I have with me Yvonne Kelly. She's a mortgage loan officer at Opportunity Bank in Billings. Yvonne, welcome. Thank you for doing this with us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so we just have a couple questions for you. We've asked everyone so far, what is your advice if I can't pay my mortgage due to COVID-19 financial hardship? Yeah, and I'm sure every lender is going to say the same response, which is contact your servicer. Servicer being who you make your monthly payments to. You need to please just not assume that you just qualify and that they're going to set you up with that. You want to contact them right away because they're all going to have different requirements, different qualifications um, and different requirements on when that's paid back, how that's paid back. So just you want to do that as soon as possible. That's really good to know. So just, I mean, if we can pay it, pay it. But if you can't, get right. it, pay it back. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so can you give me a little bit for Opportunity Bank, how has the mortgage loan process changed? Has it slowed down? Does it take longer? Do appraisals take longer? What is the whole process looking like right now? So in regards to purchases, um, obviously every area is going to be different. And so in billings, our affiliates, so our title companies, our realtor, or, or yeah, our realtors, our appraisers, insurance companies, everybody has the same common goal. And they have been so fantastic to work with. We all know that there's something going on. So um, basically purchases are priorities. And so we're all working together. And of course, being as busy as it is right now, um, things are taking a little bit longer, but I mean, um, we all make sure that, you know, we fit in for the purchases, you know, for underwriting purposes, um, you know, appraisers get there in a timely fashion. Um, closings do take a little bit, you know, more time. Um, and of course, title companies are, are great with, getting us the information we need and fitting in people to sign their documents in some, some manner or another, but it's still, the market's still moving and, and we're still getting things done. So, yeah. That's really good to hear. And I'm sorry, live videos, my doorbell rang in the middle of this. No one ever <laughs> to my doorbell, so we're just going to ignore that. Um, that's good to hear though. So what kind of changes are you seeing in the way that you're originating loans? So mostly right now, um, government loans are, are going to be the biggest change. And, and of course, everybody's asking questions about them. Um, and so it's, it's our investors that are out there that, that service these loans. So FHA, rural development, VA loans, um, they're changing their guidelines a little bit. And so with the uncertainty that's out there, um, they may be changing the credit score requirements, um, reserves, how much money and savings you have, um, property types, so manufactured homes, maybe a little bit harder to find that investor that's going to take some of those on. Um, they're just being more cautious. We have to do a lot more, uh, basically double checking, you know, with employment and things like that. So just being a little more timely and, and not rushing through the process. And where can we find information on like changing credit scores or like if those things are changing, would we just talk to you as a lender or like who yeah. would we talk to? Yeah, every every institution is going to be different with which servicers and, and the investors that they that they sell these government loans to. So um, they're the investors are all being great with sending us updates on what's changing and what the new requirements are. Um, and so basically every institution is going to have those different um, different servicers and different requirements. So you'll want to contact your lender and make sure that you know, you have a space if that's the loan program that you're going with. Good. Okay. Um, and one of the biggest questions we get, we're getting into our office right now is for future mortgage, you know, people that want to be homeowners, how will COVID-19 related layoffs potentially affect mortgage potential or qualifications? Yeah. So obviously if you're laid off, um, purchasing, it's, it's going to have an effect. Um, some people at this time, um, they may need to wait until they're back to work. Um, if you're, you know, have one borrower, two borrowers, it, you know, the income and debt ratios and all those things are going to come into play. Um, if you're in the middle of the process right now and you're laid off, the biggest thing that we can say is communication, talking to your lender, because we are being, we're taking extra steps and being more cautious and making sure people are still employed, even up to the day of closing. So, if that happens, you do want to be, you know, forthcoming and just and have that communication because it could have an effect. Um, and then going forward, you know, 
it just depends if it's the same job. Are you getting a new job? There's so much uncertainty going on right now that um, you just want to communicate with your lender and, and let them know everything that's going on. Perfect. You have to wait. Extra, extra communication is key right now. Yeah, is communication is great. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, what other um, either things has your office been asked or tips do you have for, you know, kind of some of our folks that might be coming to NeighborWorks? You know, what, what are your last parting thoughts here? So some of the common um, common questions, of course, are, are the ones that you have already asked for sure. But um, especially regarding government loans um, from realtors to borrowers, everybody wants to know, is it going to go back to being to the normal? And so or is this the new normal? Um, I have my own theories, but of course, we don't know right now. So best thing we can do or that you can do if you're a home buyer that's wanting to buy, um, just work on your credit. Um, and, you know, savings if you can and do your own research. I mean, you have the CFP website, we have, I mean, there's so much availability out there and with all the technology that we have to use right now, being home all day and probably homeschooling as well, if you have children, um, every, you know, everything that you get, can get your hands on great is great to research. And then again, communication, because every lender and every institution is going to be a little bit different. So, um, just talk with them and, and even one or two different lenders can have different views and, you know, help in different ways. So that's super great. Well, we will put your contact info in our description for this. So if anyone has any questions over what they heard or they're in billings, and want to reach out to you. They'll have that. And we just thank you for your time. We really appreciate you doing this. So thank yeah, you. Thank you. Great. Well, thanks everybody. And uh, we'll talk to you later.